Hello and welcome to our daily prayer. We begin with Psalm 95 verses 1 through 2. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn this morning is from Castle and Landis, I Love You, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice. We continue with Psalm 92, verses 1 through 3. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp. Let us pray. Day by day we magnify you, O Lord, who makes every day an addition to your mercies. We bless you for our creation preservation, and above all, for our redemption by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, Never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Let us pray. With utter devotion to the giver of life and protector of all creatures, we pray, pour your grace into our hearts, Lord. Help us to worthily magnify your great and glorious name. Pour your grace into our hearts, Lord. 
Preserve us from all those snares and temptations that continually urge us to offend you. Pour your grace into our hearts, Lord. Keep us undefiled and blameless to the end, and grant that we may diligently perform your will in whatever place or position you have been pleased to place us. Pour your grace into our hearts, Lord. And God, we we do ask for that grace today. We ask that your grace be with Landis as he continues to heal, and that your grace be with all those who seek your face, who call upon your name. And now, Lord, we lift up these other prayers to you in our hearts. And we pray in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord our God, help us today to see your power, to own your presence, to admire your wisdom, and to love your goodness in all your creatures. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.